Hey, what's up, everybody? Mark Jenkins. I'm sure you already know that you're watching the channel. Riding by this neighborhood, this brand new neighborhood. They had to sign out here, so I had to stop by just to have a quick word with you all and really let you know what's going on with the housing market. I'm sure you've been watching the videos already, but I just had some stuff I had to get off my chest. And, and one of the things that I really want to talk to you about today is that you know, there's going to be a lot of people who are stuck inside of these properties. They're going to be stuck because of the current climate is not going to allow people to be able to sell these properties. I'll give you an example. I just had a meeting with one of my clients today and I'm asking them, I'm saying like, you know, hey, for the prices you want for your property, what do you think the mortgage payment for the next person who buys the property is going to be? And she said, you know, Mark, I think it's going to be around 2100 And I said, hmm. And I ran the numbers and I showed her. And I said, what you want for your property, the new buyer is going to be paying $3,900. And, you know, honestly, that blew her mind. She could not believe that for her property that she bought, back in 2020 with the 3% interest rate and was able to have her mortgage be $1,400, that that same property right now would be $3,900 per month. That's just, it just makes no sense that people are still buying properties at record high prices and record high interest rates. It blows my mind only for the simple fact that this is going to end extremely badly for the average person. Nice house, no doubt. I guess nice is completely subjective. It's not my flavor, especially considering that, you know, they don't have much yard or anything like that. I'm not down in the house or anything like that. But, man, when you add in what you're going to be paying for a house like this, and the new construction people or the new construction uh, builders and the salespeople, they're telling you like, hey, we're gonna buy down your rate. It doesn't matter what they buy it down to, to be honest, because when you go to sell this property, if you have anything come up in the next say, I don't know, two to three years, maybe not even that long, right? If you have anything that comes up, you're not going to be able to sell this property to somebody for the price that you want at 8% interest rates or even 7% interest rates, right? A house like this at 7% interest rates, you're going to be paying close to $5,000 per month for your mortgage. And for those of you who are watching here in Georgia, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I would imagine like the average household income is what? Or the median is what? $65,000, $70,000, and to be able to buy a house like this and maintain it comfortably for $5,000 a month, you got to be kidding me. I don't know what these people are smoking. I'm not a smoker, so I don't know what people are smoking, but it must be something good if they think that people are still going to be ready to purchase a property like this in the future and be able to pay five grand a month. It just it just blows my mind that that people are still out here making these decisions. And if you're selling your home, listen, I want you to understand something. If you're selling your home right now and you want a record high price, right? You're most likely going to be stuck with that home or you're gonna have to cut the price. I just showed a, a, a property yesterday which just came back on the market, okay? Property just comes back on the market. Uh, they think, okay, well, you know, that buyer's contract fell through of no fault to the seller. So let's just put it back on the market, right? Let's just put it back on the market and guess what? We'll find somebody else that's gonna be able to buy it. <laughs> you know, I'm not understanding. You know, maybe somebody can comment below. Let me know, what am I missing? Are there that many people out here that just have money to throw away and money to burn uh, when it comes to real estate? Now, I'm not trying to be 
super negative, okay? My goal is to help every single viewer, every single one of my clients make the right decision. And the reason why I give you this information is because I want you to make the right decision. I don't want you to buy a house and then, you know, be completely stuck with it, okay? And I think a lot of people mix up the fact that just because you can buy it, that means that it's a good investment long term. No, it's actually on the contrary. It's only a good investment if you can sell it to somebody else and capitalize off of what you put into the property or capitalize off of what you originally bought that house for, being able to sell it sometime in the future. And I think that, you know, most people these days, you aren't even set in where you want to live. Most people these days, these people here, they're probably not going to stay here 30 years, right? They'll probably be here five, seven, maybe 10 years. Some of them will end up staying a lot longer, right? But a lot of them, they'll end up switching jobs or wanting to relocate or when the kids graduate, they want to go ahead and move to a different property. And what they're going to find out is that they're going to be stuck with those properties. And I just can't believe it. I, I, I think that for sellers, right? I don't know what the little sand, I think it's called a sand timer, right? The thing that, you know, uh, has the, the two vials or the two containers on each side and you flip it upside down and then the sand goes down. Literally, if you're selling a home, if you're a homeowner, that is what your time on the market really is looking like right now. Because there is no way we are today is september 30th when i'm filming this there's no way that going into the fall that people are going to be able to buy these houses right there's no way now people might be able to buy this house right i'm not saying that no one's going to buy houses right what i am saying is that for the average seller you're not getting the price that you want the new construction people they can buy down rates and make it extremely attractive Plus, on top of that, everybody loves something new and shiny, right? But for everybody else, for you people who have the resale homes, you got to be kidding me if you think that somebody's going to pay $400,000 and have a 7.5% rate on your resale home. It's just not going to happen. And like I talked about in several videos, right? Everybody's saying, oh, my God, Mark, you're wrong and and and." And the housing market is just going to go up forever, right? There's no foreclosures on the market. This is what they're writing in the newspapers. Everybody's saying that the reason why that home prices are not going to go down is because there's no foreclosures. It's my position that affordability is going to be the reason why the housing market changes up or crashes, whatever you want to call it, okay? I'm not big on labeling stuff as a crash because I know that you all will come back in the comments a year later and be like, see, nothing really happened with the housing market, Mark, or prices are only down 50,000, right? And so what I'm saying is, is that for, for those resale homeowners, especially if you have a, a, a resale home and you're trying to sell in this market, listen, there are going to be unforeseen circumstances that happened this fall. Remember, I did a video last fall or in January talking about how the prices had already changed up $50,000. And that's just seasonality. And so if you've been keeping track of the videos that we've been making, okay, we have 350 as the floor set, okay? If we fall under 350 this fall, that's a clear reversal, okay? If you're happy, be happy, do what you need to do. But ultimately, what we're seeing happen in the housing market here, boots on the ground, is that the resale homes, they're sitting longer, there are more coming to the market, and we have a lot more homes coming to the market than homes that are selling every single month. There's a reason why our YouTube, our YouTube channel is one of the fastest rising real estate YouTube channels, okay? Just in the last, just in the last, uh, just in the last couple of days, right? We've almost doubled our following on YouTube because we're talking about the things that most people are not talking about. And the reason why they can't talk about it is because they don't have boots in the ground. The reason why they can't talk about it is because they're just reading articles 
from Market Insider and all of these other people, but they're not really doing deals like I am. I'm actually out here boots on the ground. I'm part of a real estate team that has over 100 agents. So I have a really good pulse on the market. So I came out here because Georgia Tech is actually getting trashed by uh, Bowling Green right now. And you know what? Uh, what do you think is going to happen to you sellers here in the market? Probably some of the same things. So definitely let me know. Am I wrong? All of these extra home sites that they have out here, right? Are these things that are going to be bought by people or are the builders going to keep having to subsidize their purchases by spending thousands of dollars buying down these rates? They're going to keep, have to keep buying down these rates, right? $50,000 to buy down the rate, down to 5%. I don't know exactly what they're paying, but I know they're paying crazy money, but they're not telling you that. And of course, they're not going to tell you that. So like this video, comment below, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're experiencing in your local market. Because I guarantee you, even if these new homes sell, if you have a resale home and you're thinking about selling and your home is not a 10 out of 10, it's going to sit. You're going to have to do price cuts and you'll be lucky if you find somebody that's trying to buy at today's rates. This is a trusted realtor. Deal closed.